हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर श्वेता मिश्रा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस वेलकम्स यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ डॉट कॉम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर माई लेक्चर ऑन हाउ टू सॉल्व अ लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम नाउ लेट लेट एस फर्स्ट हैव अ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम इज अ मैक्सिमाइज वन एंड इट इज अ लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम ना हाउ टू सॉल्व द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम इज फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इक्वलाइज द इक्वेशन गिवेन next one is this and third one is this now after equalizing the equations we are now going to point out the points which we are going to plot on the graph now first Uh, assume x1 as 0 now if i assume x1 is 0 the value of x2 arrives at 200 now if we uh, if i assume x2 as 0 the value of x1 arrives at 300 now the same applies on second equation if i take x1 as 0 the value of x2 comes at 300 and if i take x2 as 0 the value of x1 comes at 150 now in the third equation the value of x2 is not given to us so we assume it as 0 now after mm, dictating the points i am going to plot these points on a graph paper this is x axis and this is y axis now we take the range according to the points we have calculated i am taking a scale of 50 points now start pointing out the points x1 value is given to us as 0 and x2 is 200 0 and next is 300 0 now we'll join these points now next equation is 0 300 and 150 0 Now again, we're going to join these points. Now, third one is x one is zero and x two x one is hundred and x two is zero. Now, after marking these points, we are going to write the equations. now the next step is to calculate the feasible region now the common area that comprises all the three equation is this so we are going to share this area this is our feasible region now after assuming the feasible region we are now going to dictate the points the points that has arrived are a b c d and e these are the points that comprise our feasible region so i am going to write down a b c d e the points that are on the axis are available to us that is the point a is 0 200 point b we have to calculate and the these two points the point has arrived by comprising the lines 2x1 plus 3x2 is equals to 600 and next line is 2x1 plus x2 is equals to 300 now the c point is arrives by intersecting of the lines is x1 is equals to 100 and 2x1 plus x2 is equals to 300 now point d is already available to us that is 100 0 and point e is 0 0 now the points that are available to us are a 
D and E and rest of the points B and C we have to calculate now how to calculate the point B and C let us have a look the equations given to us are now as these two points are equalized we'll change the sign x2 comes as 150 now plotting this point in one of the equation Now both the points that we have arrived is 75 and 150. I am again explaining the point B, how we have arrived at point B. The two equations given to us is 2x1 plus 3x2 is equals to 600, 2x1 plus x2 is equals to 300. Now these two points are common. So we will cut the, we cut the point after changing the sign and this 2x2 is equals to 300. So x2 comes as 150. Now we are going to put this value in one of the equation 2x1 plus 3 into 150 is equals to 600. And after solving it, we have arrived at x1 is 75. Now to calculate another point C, the equations given to us is Now x1 is given to us, we are going to put this value in this equation. So x2 comes at 100. Now we have calculated all the points that is uh, coming in the feasible region. The points are 0, 200, 75, 150. 100 100 d is 100 0 and 0 0 now we are going to put these points in our maximize equation that is already given to us now we have already arrived all the points now first we we'll write down points the points given to us a b c d e and the coordinates are it's a for 0 200 b for 75 150 c for 100 100 d for its 100 0 and e is 0 0 now as the maximize equation given to us is 40 x1 plus 50 x2 so we're going to put these point in this equation now 40 into 0 plus 50 into 200 it arrives at 10,000 now next is 40 into 75 plus 50 into 150 now 40 into 75 plus 50 into 150 is 10,500 Next is 40 into 100 plus 50 into 100 is 9000. Next is 40 into 100 plus 50 into 0. It comes to 4000. And last one is 40 into 0 plus 50 into 0 is 0. Now as the version of the question given to us is maximize so we have to point out the maximum profit that has arrived and it is 10,500. So the maximum profit is rupees 10,500 and its coordinates are 75 for x1 and 150 for x2. So this is how we have solved the linear programming problem. Now for more videos like subscribe and comment our YouTube channel. Thank you.